Now that we have these seven or eleven chords, counting these fellows here, we will uh, start by explaining the auxiliary dominance, which what is an auxiliary dominant? It's, it's a chord dominant. What is a dominant chord? It's a major chord which has a flat seven on it. Because between the flat seven and the major third, there is created a tritone, which in the traditional, in the, in the most traditional way, it resolves to a chord located a fourth ascendant, a perfect fourth ascendant. Therefore, these are called auxiliary or secondary dominance. And, well, in this chart of 20 chords here, we will have four of those auxiliary dominants, the fifth of the flat seven, fifth of the flat six, fifth of the four, and the fifth of the fifth. So these are four auxiliary dominants when we have five substitute dominants, but that we will talk later because here we have very important aspect that now we have four chords which became all of a sudden eight, so to say. And the first two chords we want to explain here, very important ones, are the auxiliary dominant fifth of the flat seven and fifth of the flat six. So let's start with fifth of the flat seven. This chord, uh, well, how we know that because this is flat seven is G of A. We decide first the key, obviously. In this case, the key is A minor, so our flat seven is G. And then we have to get the fifth of this guy, which is a G, and therefore the fifth of G, we count five, G, A, B, C, D is D seven. So we write here auxiliar dominant fifth of the flat seven is D seven. This one is to go to that one. So between these four, again, let's be based on the four basic ones. To go to this one, in between this and this, we have this. So this sounds as follows. First minor. So, say we play this lower line, flat third, fifth to the flat seven. Generally, these chords move, you know, by perfect fourth descendant, so D, D, E, F, G goes here, right? But it doesn't say that it has to solve by perfect fourth. Sometimes we find, find out that they move to other places, but generally, uh, well, as the first instance, we should know that these fellows move by perfect to a chord located at the per, perfect fourth ascendant. So, therefore, we have let's say if I play flat third, fifth to the flat seven, and then I should replace this with this, that would be one example of moving with an auxiliary dominant to another place that is not the chord that corresponds, which is not the only option, but I'm showing you just the simplest way possible. Then after this we play four minor, four minor, four minor over flat second, and then fifth seven flat line. That will sound as follows. Very useful. 
useful, this quote here. And then we have the fifth of the flat six. So because the flat six and a minor is f, we count five, we need the dominant chord of this guy right here, so it would be f, g, a, b, c. So therefore we have a c7. Right, C7 is the auxiliary dominant fifth of the flat 6 in A. It sounds complex, but it's not if you understand the principles. So, this is quite very useful. And then, therefore, now we have a thing that basically to start easy, we go first minor, fifth of the flat 7, flat 7, fifth of the flat 6, flat 6, 4 minor, fifth 7, flat 9. That will be like this. That's why this is important, because the ingredients are all summarized here, and then it's up to the composer or the arranger to decide what he thinks sounds better in a, in a given case. Okay, now we have, and this, of course, where do we see this? Well, and, and I think this is the Sirocco Solea, you may have heard this. Yo creo que la música elitista es el refinamiento de la música popular. Por ejemplo, el flamenco. El flamenco originalmente es una música popular, la música del pueblo andalucí. Pero creo que ya no le pertenece más al pueblo, porque de pronto habemos gente que nos hemos pasado toda una vida encerrados puliendo esa expresión popular. 
Entonces ha llegado a un nivel en el, en el que el pueblo ya no, no, no tiene acceso, sobre todo a los matices que vamos consiguiendo la gente como yo, que nos pasamos muchas horas eh, elaborando esa música.